What is going on? Justin here from Native Watercraft. I just want to start off by saying congratulations on purchasing the new Spring Blade Rudder Kit. That kit comes in two versions. We have the three inch rudder shaft and then we have the five inch rudder shaft. The five inch will retrofit on any Max model. So the Slayer Propel 10 Max as well as the 12.5. And then that three inch model will fit on any Titans or older Slayer models. And then any other Native Watercraft boat with a Propel Drive. So the three major components that are included in this kit you have the new spring blade rudder it comes with a spring already installed and then you have the shaft this is the five inch version and then you have our new rudder cap you have two sets of specter cord one set will be used to deploy and retract the blade and then that other set can be used as a replacement for your old lines you do not have to change those out but we just went ahead and included those just in case You've got two options on how you can run your lift and deploy cable. We included some brass wiring. That way, if you wanna go internally, you can get that specter cord all the way up to the front of the kayak. And then we've got a kit here with some components that will help you run the cable externally. If you don't feel like drilling into your kayak, if you wanna save some time, we included this with it. The functionality is both the same. It just depends on your preference. And lastly, we included another foam gasket to go over the rudder shaft itself to help prevent any water coming up from the bottom. Now that we know everything that comes in the box, first thing that we need to do to get this installation rolling, let's go ahead and take out that old rudder shaft. Easy part over, we've got the rudder shaft off. Now let's uninstall our steering lines. We've now got our rudder cap off. I'm gonna take my new rudder cap, place it here. Now it's time to decide how we wanna run our lift cable. I'll start off by doing it internally first. You've got a nice little notch back here on the 10 Max that we're gonna drill through. I'm gonna start off by drilling a pilot hole. I'm using a 3 16 inch drill bit and then we'll come in behind it and we'll use a 5 16 inch drill bit. All right, perfect. I've got the pilot hole drilled. Then I'm coming in right behind it with a 5 16 inch drill bit. Perfect. Now that I've got my hole drilled, I'm going to identify one of my pass-throughs for the line cable. This is a new part from Native Watercraft. This essentially allows you to run that specter cord without having any internal tubing. Now this next step is not totally necessary. I just happen to have some sealant laying around, but if you've got some marine goo or any type of marine sealant, you can put just a little dab around the black portion of your pass-through. But this part should still have a very tight seal without it. It's not totally necessary. And then I'm gonna take the white end of the pass-through, place it in the hole that we just drilled. And as I mentioned, it's gonna be a pretty tight fit. Try to push it in as far as you can once you feel that pressure release. And then that's where your hammer comes into play. Just barely tap it. Boom, just like that. I absolutely love the finish on that. Looks like it came straight from the factory. Now it's time to repeat the process on the right hand side just before the groove track. There is a flat mounting surface. I'm gonna put that other pass through on there. That will allow you to lift and lower your rudder using your right hand. Again, I'm just gonna use a touch of silicone here. A little bit more than a touch. And then go ahead and place it in, push it in as far as you can. And then come back in with your hammer, tap it in. Since the 10 Max is such a short boat, I should be able to get away with not using the brass wiring. This new Spectre cable is stiff enough to where I should be able to put it through that first pass through and shimmy it all the way down to the stern. All right, it should be down there by now. Let me check. 
There it is. So I was able to get that cord down there first try since this boat is so short. This cable is only traveling probably three or four feet, so it doesn't take much for that cord to make it down to the stern. If you haven't already, all you have to do now is take off uh, your rubberized cap on your access plate, pull out your lift line, and then with your right hand, go through that access hatch and take your Spectre cord and thread it through the other pass-through. And once you've done that, we are almost done installing our lift line. Now I'm going to finish installing the lift line on the right hand side of the paddler. Since it's a spring loaded rudder, uh, you need a cleat to help keep that rudder in the stowed position. So I'm gonna install that. To go along with it, you have two 10 30 second sliders and you have two 10 30 second screws. And then for the end of the Spectre cord, you have a comfort grip T-handle. On the right-hand side, just before your bungee here, you've probably got six inches of track to where you can mount uh, your cleat for your release line. I've got my two 10 30 second sliders. I'm going to install those first. And then after getting those installed, locate your two 10 30 second screws, and then just line up each hole on the cleat. All right, one side is locked in. Both sides are seated about a quarter inch. I'm gonna take it as far forward as I can and then tighten it down. And now that my cleat is positioned, I can take my Spectre cord, thread it through the side closest to the stern, thread it through, and then you've got your Comfort Grip T-handle. It doesn't really matter what style knot you tie on the end. I'm just gonna loop it through, nice and simple. Make sure that tag in isn't too long. There we go. Perfect, now that's installed. Before I can get that lift line fully installed, I'm gonna take our new rudder cap and attach the existing steering cables. As mentioned before, we are including some brand new Spectre cord in the kit, so if you wanna replace those, go for it, it's up to you. So, major two differences between the first and second version rudder cap. On our first version, we have these two elephant ears on either side. Essentially, what that does is help keep tension on that steering cable over time. In our second version, we actually included that same mechanism in the actual design itself so they're built in and then if you look at the top we included some more hardware again this will help keep tension on that steering cable over time so I'm just gonna place that over the through hole scupper and then we can get these lines situated for inserting the Spectre cord in the groove just take the excess pull it on through the back And then once you've got it pulled through, you can make sure each side is seated correctly. And now I'm just gonna loosen up these quarter 20 so we can wrap the spectra cord around each screw. It's important to get that rudder handle straight up and down when locking down your Spectre cord lines. I'm not gonna cinch it down as tight as I can right now. After the full install, I'll go back, I'll retie them, make sure everything is nice and tight, but I'm just gonna get these out of the way for now, and then we can go on to that next step and get that rudder blade on. When wrapping your Spectre cord, each side needs to go clockwise. So one or two times around each screw. Same for the other side, going clockwise one or two times. And then you can take your tag ends, you can either thread them through the rudder cap itself, you can trim them, you can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave them as is for right now. I'm just going to show you visually how this blade needs to be installed. Your rudder shaft, this little piece here needs to be facing the stern of the kayak and then your blade is facing upward and then they will fit together just like so. Okay, I'm just going to give you an up close visual on how to route your cable. Go ahead and thread it as far through as you can. Once it comes out the other end, 
So it came through on the other side. I'm going to thread it back through just underneath this little steel cylinder on the front. So I'm going to thread it back through and out, back through and out. And then once it's all the way through the opposite side, I'm going to thread it back through the top of the cylinder, just like that. And now that part is done. So before you thread that spectra cord through the top of the rudder cap, we have one more new piece here. This is gonna replace your quarter 20 on your old system. The difference between this and the quarter 20, this gives you access to the top so you can thread the spectra cord through. Just like that. And then we'll come back through and tighten it down once we have the rudder blade assembled. So now that we see what we're doing visually, I'm gonna take the spectra cord, place it on top of the rudder cap. It's going through the through hole scupper, out the other end. And then like we just did, down the top of the rudder shaft, out the other end, thread it back through, and then pass it through the top of that cylinder. All right, next part. Remember visually, this is how the rudder shaft should be positioned in the stern of the kayak. And then I'm just gonna take my blade and sandwich it in between, just like that. And then you've got your last part here. This is your tension cap. I'll show you close up how that's gonna work in a second. So this piece here is used to create tension on that internal spring. It gives your blade that nice spring loaded action. To install, I would put your rudder in the forward most position. You'll notice that there's some teeth going all the way around the edge of that little circle there. There are also some teeth on the button that should line up accordingly. So I'm just gonna press it through here there is a little piece of metal on that spring sticking out make sure that that spring goes through these slotted areas on the button itself once you've done those two things line up those slots line up that little that little piece of metal sticking out before I see the teeth I'm gonna wind up my spring turning clockwise and then press all the way down. Now I've got tension on that blade. So depending on how forcefully you want that blade to deploy, that will determine on how many turns you take on that wheel. To uninstall, it's got a locking mechanism on the back side. Just make sure you press in both sides firmly and then press through, and then you can either tighten or loosen up that spring. So just to demonstrate before we move on, locking mechanism on the back side, I'm gonna pinch both sides firmly and then press through. And then one more time here, I'll show you how to create tension on that wheel. Just turning, turning clockwise here and then press through just like that. Our rudder is now fully assembled. I'm gonna take the spectra cord here. There is a tiny hole at the top of the blade. I'm going to thread the spectra cord through the top of the blade. I'm gonna tie a simple knot. Tying a simple knot here. And then I'm pulling that knot all the way through. Just like that. I've already got my gasket installed in the through hole scupper. Now I'm just gonna install the rudder on the quarter 20, the new quarter 20 that's included in our kit. All stairs are now set. Now I'm just gonna start seating this quarter 20 here all the way down. And then once you get down as far as you can go, I'd probably grab a set of pliers and then just give it a couple more turns. Once you've taken it down about as far as you can go using your hands, you can either grab a wrench, some pliers. This is a little bit extra, but this is all I had within reach, but this will do the job, no problem. I'm just gonna give it the last couple turns here. And 
And after getting those last couple turns in, we are completely finished installing the new spring blade rudder kit for this Max 10. Remember, there are two different versions. You have the three inch rudder shaft and you have the five inch rudder shaft. The five inch version will fit on the 10 and 12 five Max. And then that three inch version will fit on any other native watercraft kayak that has a propel system. Appreciate y'all for watching. If you plan on doing a external lift line, keep watching the video. I'm gonna go over that, but if you're doing it internally, appreciate you watching. All right, we'll see you on the water. Be safe, happy fishing. So this is an example of how to run it externally. I'm still gonna use that same cleat on the rail. And then instead of going through the pass through and down the inside of the hole, I'm gonna remain on the surface here all the way down to the included eyelet. So we're including one of these with a quarter 20 slider in the kit. And then that will change the direction of the spectra cord. And then you just simply thread it through the top of the rudder cap just like that but definitely an easier option that way however you do have some line on top of your deck if you don't mind it go ahead and do it <laughs> 